Hello Gemini, Gemini Rising, and Gemini Moon people! This is your weekly astrological and card forecast for the week starting February 20th, 2017. And a quick reminder for you Gemini people, remember these are sign-specific horoscopes. These are not collective astrology horoscopes. And there is a difference, and I notice a lot more and more people are kind of getting confused on what is more relevant to them and what is a discussion of the collective and sometimes people, you know, some even astrologers are not the best at differentiating. They're not saying this is a collective for the whole collective. They're just saying this is the horoscope. And if you if you don't know, you're going to think that that's your personal horoscope and not for everybody. Well, this is obviously more personal. It can't be that personal because it's, it, it, it's, it's for all the Geminis who are watching this video. But I just want to let you guys know that and remind you of that. So this is kind of more specific to you, and this is not something that is just meant for, you know, every Tom, Dick, and Harry. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> moving on from that, sorry, I had a frog in my throat. Quick, uh, just a little update for you as well, a little announcement. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you'll remember a couple of years ago I had the Ask Nico Q&A. And that is coming back, but it's coming back on my vlog channel, Scarlet Moon Magic, and I'm going to put a link to that channel below. Um, if you have not checked out Scarlet Moon Magic, it's a deeper channel. It's more my personal spiritual practice, my vlogs, and all of those kinds of things. And so if you're interested, I would encourage you to, you know, check it out. Maybe go subscribe. Um, and, you know, take part in the Ask Nico q and I've got a special video about how that's all going to work there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So what is going on then with your astrology this week? This week I gotta do what I did two weeks ago, and kind of reiterate what I said, you know, in the monthly, because we do have an eclipse, again, a solar eclipse in Pisces. And then we've also got the Sun conjuncting Neptune in Pisces. So, we've got a lot of Pisces energy, all of this is happening in your career sector, your 10th house. Alright, so when we talk about career, we talk about our work, it's a financial area, we're also talking about upward mobility. And when all of these energies are coming together, a solar eclipse always talks about a brand new beginning. Okay, it's not an ending, it's a new beginning. This could spell an opportunity for a major raise or a major promotion over the next three months, or possibly even a new job that is much higher paying materializing over this time. Now the interesting thing about this is with the sun crossing Neptune in your career sector, this is giving you a chance to get a way to wiggle out. Those of you who've been feeling stuck, those of you who've been feeling like it's hard enough to get a job, or maybe you're just trying to find a new job, or you're trying to find something that goes into a permanent place, maybe you're trying to go from temp to permanent employee, you're trying to get a work visa, a work permit, a certification, these are the energies you want to see because they will bring the promise again of a raise and of a new permanent position to materialize fully over the next 90 days. Those of you who are looking for a new job, don't worry, it will go faster than that. Um, but I also think that these discussions will be happening at the very end of this week, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So make sure you keep yourself available on your emails. So what is going on with your cards? Well, for your spiritual advice, we've got the card of the Unseelie Queen. All right, the Unseelie Queen is an interesting card because it kind of talks about the downside of glitter. Okay, the you know let's let's just call it like it is. The Unseelie Queen is a warning against confusing costume jewelry for re real jewelry. It is plastic, and this week this can talk about making sure that you are not easily given to uh, be impressed by people who know how to be shiny, who have a certain way of maybe trying to relate to you in a way that's almost too fake. Uh, because the Unseelie Queen does talk about, <clears throat> you know, people, or maybe even uh, prospects, kind of trying to win you over in the fakest ways possible. And sometimes we're easily impressed though, like we know it's fake, but it's like, you're ambitious, that was quite a performance, I like you. No, not with the Unseelie Queen. Don't do that. She didn't earn it. She didn't deserve it. <laughs> That's what you've got to pay attention to, because there's a certain um, glamour about trying to assimilate into a work culture or a business culture or a relationship culture with the Unseelie Queen that is actually um, kind of belying the dysfunction underneath. Okay, it's kind of showing where the fake should not be, you know, the most important thing. The surface should not be the most important. The surface impressions should not be the most important. So for God's sake this week, don't let yourself buy into anyone's hype. Okay, because there's going to be a lot of temptation to do that because it's going to be easier to get one over. And seduced. 
For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we do have the Page of Wands reversed. Okay. In spite of the fact that we have all this great energy going on in Pisces, the Page of Wands reversed is indicating a lot of you uh, Gemini people maybe finding yourself in a position where we have to kind of really push somebody to, I guess you could say, finish what they have started. Okay, um, whether it's a client or a customer, uh, maybe it's a, it's a hiring manager. We have something that could actually come to a very pleasant fruition this week, but the Page of Wands reverse can indicate some slacking off there. This can also indicate a challenge going on where somebody that we have entrusted a task to, whether it's a financial task, getting your taxes done, or maybe even, you know, a, a subordinate or something like that, um, has kind of, they've lost touch with you. They're not keeping updates with you. Doesn't mean they're not necessarily doing a good job, but the Page of Wands reverse is saying that there is, um, you know, we, we, we've got a situation where somebody's probably taking a bit of our trust for granted. And again, this whole feel of, you know, we need to crack the whip this week. All right, if we do crack the whip, everything's fine. The Page of Wands reverse, honestly, usually is very much, you know, very responsive to the cracking of the whip. If you feel like we have not heard from a recruiter in a while, check in on him or her. Uh, you know, if we have not heard from a boss or a client, we need to rein these people back in, and this will bring things back under control. If you're waiting for them to rein themselves in, I'm sorry, not with the Page of Wands reversed. It's it's going to have to be on you. Even if you might find, even if you find like it's not appropriate for somebody in your position to do so, people will be happy, you know, that you did. Have you ever? Ha I mean, it's like in a movie where people get slapped in the face, and they're like, "Thank you, thank you for slapping some sense into me." We're going to have to do that a bit. For your communications with air, when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we do have the Nine of Cups reversed. Again, um, a bit humorous, <laughs> not necessarily the worst thing in the world, because the Nine of Cups reversed is still good when it's reversed, we just have to know how to navigate it better, okay? Because the Nine of Cups reversed is still one of the very few flat-out yes answers. You know, some people ask yes or no questions to the tarot, and this is one of the cards that gives a yes answer, even when it's reversed. The problem is, is that when the card is reversed, we have to pay attention to where people are taking everything we say very literally. And they may go out and do those things very literally, or, you know, and you might be kind of feeling, God damn it, I'm trying not, you know, it's like, it's getting frustrating trying to find the right way to articulate to you people. But at the same time, with the Nine of, Cup, Nine of Cups reversed, that is sort of our test. Okay, um, I, I brought it up. I brought it up once. I'll bring it up again, and I, I love it that they finally made a tarot card deck that has the genie on it. Okay, if you've been watching me enough, you know I always talk about the Nine of Cups being the genie card, and here we go. Um, with the Nine of Cups reversed, pay attention. The genie is not. It's not the genie's job to translate our intention if we're not using the right words. Your wishes will be granted as, as you ask for them and as you articulate them. So this can still be a beautiful week if you have requests of your friends, your lovers, things along those lines. If you're thinking about asking people out, if you're thinking about getting any of that initiated, it's going to be fantastic. But mind what you take for granted in the way you speak. Because again, if people are taking it literally, you could be, you know, digging yourself a bit of a hole. But we can always get ourselves out. But if you find yourself in a hole, stop digging. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Two of Swords upright. Okay, so this week, your challenge is to maintain neutrality in situations where people are asking you to choose the lesser of two evils. Okay, and that can be very hard to do because sometimes people don't want you to be neutral. People feel like you being neutral means you're not trustworthy or that you are not on their side and therefore you've abandoned them or, you know, you must be, even if you're not with the enemy, you're almost worse because if you're not with the enemy, you should understand me. That kind of mentality. The neutral card, though, of the Two of Swords is saying we don't have to choose between the lesser of two evils this week. We don't have to choose anything at all. If a boss or a neighbor or somebody is trying to make you, uh, you know, accept and acknowledge and, you know, abide by an ultimatum, we can always abstain. And this week your challenge is avoiding the peer pressure to take sides where there is no good side. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we've got the Magician card reversed. Okay. 
So let's go back to impressions. Okay. The magician card reverse can indicate again a warning about impressions when it comes to love. First impressions being good or bad. Now with the magician card reverse, this person is a good faker. All right, so this doesn't mean anyone's trying to be mean or awful or anything like that, but it's kind of like somebody who feels really insecure, so they do what they call now catfishing, like they put up a, you know, things that look wrong or things that are not, in, you know, not consistent with who they are right now on their internet profiles and things like that. Well, we've got that with the Magician card reverse for those of you who are single and looking. And you may be dating somebody or start dating somebody this week that is trying way too hard to make you see a side of themselves that just is not um, wholly accurate. Now, does that mean they're covering up something bad? No, they just might be covering up something good and thinking they're giving you what you want. But the principle of the matter is, is this person is still being dishonest. You can't always justify dishonesty with, well, they're just insecure, da 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 We have to bring that out in the open and kind of crack through that barrier a little bit. Now, for those of you who are currently coupled, you may notice your partner kind of switching personalities this week, and I'm not sure if this is necessarily a phase or this is something that's ongoing, but it kind of feels like your partner might be going through a bit of an identity crisis with the magician card reverse. Like, you know, he or she may be almost trying to take on a different personality, possibly even being a bit of an escapist. Are they running away from a problem they need to be solving? Maybe something with their past? Maybe something emotionally jarring kind of set this off? We need to be able to help them kind of get grounded in who they really are as opposed to image that an image that is a, a, a happy escape, okay? Because you might be, you know, because some people do that. Some people go crazy trying to not deal with something and they try to turn into something else instead. Okay, um, we've all done it. So, that is your forecast, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed it. Still looks like a damn good week. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you'd like to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.